Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to War on the Sea, a new game out by Killerfish Games, the developers of Cold Waters and Atlantic Fleet. Uh, this is a World War II real-time strategy and war game, which takes place during the Guadalcanal campaign in the South Pacific. And in today's episode, we're looking at part 31 of our Let's Play series from the Allied perspective. We have been uh, fighting through this on Twitch, so these have been live streams that have been conducted from a couple of weeks ago now. The game has been out for a little bit now, maybe like a month or so. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying this series. We're pretty far into it. In today's episode, we're picking things up in the middle of a surface engagement between uh, Allied cruisers and destroyers versus a Japanese force. That consists of some heavy cruisers as well as some transports that we need to wipe out because they are threatening to land reinforcements on Milne Bay, which could completely undermine our position there and cause us a serious setback. Uh, we're about 40 minutes, 30 minutes into the naval battle itself. We've been engaging the enemy at long range. We've crossed their T, and we have set a couple of their lead ships on fire. But so far, the battle is far from decided, and uh, that's the situation that we're picking things up right now. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump back into the live stream, pick it up where we left off, and I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, wait. Converted from a Prime sub to a Tier 1 sub. Oh, thanks, dude. Two more hits. Three hits on that particular... Salvo. You got range if nothing else? Yeah, I just don't want to let them let the convoys through, and I don't think the AI will turn back. So that's my biggest concern if I run out of ammo. The HE will still do damage to him. You're trying to stop using Amazon? But you want to stay subbed. Well, I appreciate it, sir. They're a little bit difficult to avoid sometimes. Yeah, these guys completely broke formation. Are these? Are they trying to escape? It looks like they're trying to turn back. So it does look like the enemy formation... I've never seen the AI do this before. I've never seen the AI put its tail between its legs and try and escape battle. But it, to me, that's looks that looks like what they're trying to do. Thank you for the Prime sub, Freezy Pope. Appreciate it, sir. So big props if the AI is, is now trying to escape, I guess. Unless they're firing torpedoes, I don't know. This one's veering out and then veering right back in. For whatever reason, the... Wh uh, I guess they just wanted both their cruisers to be firing. No Yamatos, just heavy cruisers. Uh-oh. Someone's a fire. Looks like Atlanta. Minor fire. It'll probably get spread a little bit. So she is listing heavily. I don't know if she's sinking yet. That's the problem. Is I don't have a lot of visual cues that she's a goner. But she's definitely damaged. Maybe that's why she veered out of line. Lead enemy DD. Still chugging along there, taking all those HE hits. You're thinking double back? I, I've still got the T crossed on these lead destroyers and the entire formation, so I'm hesitant to do that. I was trying to knock out the enemy firepower before we, we dealt with the transports. I should have plenty of ammo left on the HE... Well, maybe not. Uh, it's over 100 broadsides, I guess. Not 100, sorry. It's a bit close, like 70 or so. AP, we're down to our final five salvos here on the Ford turrets. The rear turret still has quite a bit left. We do have torpedoes in our destroyers, but we're still at pretty long range. Aircraft should cost fuel or supplies, one or the other. Well, not, not fuel, but they should cost supplies. There's not enough fuel in the game. All right, this guy's list... Eh, how, it's not that heavy. It's a list, but it's not that heavy. I 
I would definitely try and, and switch targets if... I don't know. Can we sink this bastard over here? Like, give me an indication she's dying. She's burning, but she's not sinking. And she's still firing. How's our, uh, how's our fire control going on these heavy cruisers? Ninety three percent solution. Hey, average gamers, we're in a battle at extreme long range in daylight against Japanese a uh, Japanese task force. I think that's trying to reinforce Milne Bay. Whoa, that was an overshoot. Fuck that. That is not a ninety percent fire control solution. You weren't even close. All right, change course a little bit. The enemy can't be doing much better on ammo. I guess the rear turrets are, are probably still still in action here. But I mean, we're we're hitting. We're just not doing enough damage. Maybe it would help to slow down a little bit. Slow down to 20 knots, maybe? That might be too slow. But at this point, I'm kind of out of ammo. Well, my rear turrets still have a quite a bit of AP, but my front turrets are... They're low, for sure. I've got HE ammo for the transports, Gao. How much, how much punishment can this destroyer take though, really? I'm changing the destroyer's target. All right, we'll change the um, the lead destroyer's targets. We'll leave the Atlanta sort of to to keep the Japanese destroyer down and the heavies will still keep focusing on the, the Takao. Although her range is out to 20,000 yards. That's not, let's, let's change your target on something a little bit better that you can hit. I hate changing the focus of fire, but, oh wait, did I just choose the wrong target? <laughs> Yeah. Don't do that. I wanted to select the Quincy. So we're firing HE on the Ford turrets now. Rear turrets still firing. So we're firing six eight inch armor piercing shells per salvo. I'm gonna try, I mean, at this point we've just gotta be safe and knock out the enemy transports. She's definitely taken some damage. Have we 
So the second destroyer in line is on fire. She's got minor damage. Meanwhile, the enemy's not hitting with much accuracy either. We've got a couple of ships with minor damage. I think we've put pretty heavy damage on one destroyer. Pretty heavy damage on this heavy cruiser, but she's still flinging shells. It looks to me like these this turret here is out of action. This mid turret. I just get nervous about getting too much closer. I don't want to take unnecessary punishment. We getting any hits on this guy yet? All right, so we've switched our fire, by the way, and we are bracketing the Miyoko. Nice hit there on a Ford turret. We might have knocked it out. Nice little secondary explosion by the looks of it. Nice hit there on the bridge. This may actually just look this way because we're firing HE, actually. But maybe we'll start some fires and knock out some compartments on her. We're staying in front of them, so this turn by Bach here is keeping us essentially crossing the T. They're firing on our lead destroyer now. Yeah, the objective now at this point for me is clearly to focus the lead destroyers on the transports. Knock them out. Big fire, by the way, on this, lead, this enemy heavy cruiser. She's ablaze all in the front of the ship. Several hits there. Man, they're hitting her good. Well, those HE rounds are doing, doing their job. Both lead destroyers now have a minor fire, minor damage. So mixing in HE and, uh, and AP rounds here. Maybe that's the trick. They're firing way more accurately at the Miyoko than they were the Takao. I mean, I know the range is close, but look at how low in the water she is. Hey, NFGB dev. Newhauser, can you kick that guy? Maybe slowing the speed down was... Uh, Thanks, Neuhauser. Just to be clear, racial slurs, not not funny, not acceptable, not going to allow you to watch this stream anymore if you're going to do that. All right. Um, in case anyone was curious. Okay, so we're hitting these guys pretty damn good at this point. Yeah, I'm sure the belt hits, you know, I, I don't know. In any event, we've got some good fires going on the enemy ships. I, I'm not in any rush to close the range. Are they holding fire? Are they not? What's going on with them? Why are they not shooting? Did I, I didn't tell them not to attack, right? That was weird. Oh, because they're in spot mode. That's what it was. So they're waiting, waiting for visual indicators on what's going on. All right, the Takao may be trying to limp away. But we got a couple of enemy ships that are blazing wrecks at this point. There is one enemy destroyer that we have to be careful of. Just hammering, hammering them. Meanwhile, this this lead DD is in in rough shape. Not sure we've seen any indication of any enemy torpedoes or anything like that. But let's adjust course just a little bit, just in case. It's so quiet on the front of the line when you switch to spot mode. Everything <laughs> just slows down. All right. Captain Shadow, thank you very much for the uh, gift sub to the last warship. Very kind of you, sir. Also, did someone drop in a, a host? Prompt Commander, thank you for the raid and the host. Hope you're doing well. <sighs> Rear.
really, Chicken Boy? Newhauser, I need you to need you to get rid of that guy too. Just took a hit there. Yeah, maybe like a secondary account. All right, sorry about that. I dropped out of the game. I got him. All right. Just look at the silent beauty of those gun flashes. It'd be cool if you heard like a little bit of a rumble of the, the distant guns on the other ships in the formation. This guy is still alive. All right, I think it's safe to say this this ship's gonna sink. Water's just about over the the uh, the side of the vessel there. You guys are firing. All right, so let's switch your fire to the destroyer Minikaze, I think. Quincy, switch your fire to Minikaze as well. That's the real threat at this point. Minikaze's taken no damage, so she could lose some torpedoes on us. So, in in the name of preparing uh, to resist enemy torpedoes, we're going to reverse our turn a little bit and open up the range. I'm actually going to Fire on her, too. Don't spot, just fire. 5,000 yards. Jesus, that's close. Crimson J, thank you very much for the follow. Enemy is turning toward us. Anyone see torpedoes? I still haven't seen any torpedoes fired yet. Atlanta's nuking this guy. So this one should be sinking soon, too. But the enemy heavy cruiser is ablaze and going under. That's a pretty cool, cool sight. Yeah, I maybe I'll save my torpedoes for the transports. All right, so the the Minikaze actually sunk. What the hell? Did we like detonate her? She's still cruising. She must have had like a magazine explosion or something. Cause she's still moving at like twenty knots as she's rolling over. I don't think I've ever seen a ship sink that fast in game. All right, you're going to switch your fire, I guess, back to the other destroyer which won't die. Oops. There is still the the Takao, which is kind of back here. She is a blaze, by the way. I'm not, I didn't think anyone was still shooting at her. But she is still getting 8 inch shells off. Well, it looked like the enemy cruiser was turning away, and I thought maybe the AI got smart and was trying to evacuate, but... Or, or withdraw, but I, I don't know. Maybe not. Alright. How far away is this guy? 25,000? Yeah, we're not shooting at that. All right, how much ammo do we have left? 18. God, we're almost out of ammo. Our rear turrets still have a little bit of ammo. But our heavies are, are pretty much done in terms of all their ammo, with the exception of the rear turrets. Surefire, thanks for the follow. All right, she should be a goner now. Can you sink already? The little destroyer that thought it was a battleship. No ammunition available for the Quincy. All right, Atlanta, switch your fire to the lead merchant. Four 
Fully, thank you for the follow as well. All right, so Akuzi is ablaze and rolling over a secondary explosion on the front and rear of the ship. She has to be a goner now. All I'm shooting at her with her, by the way, is the destroyers. Everybody else has switched fire. I mean, like, her bridge is almost underwater. Uh, we probably started shooting from too far out, Rocket. I do think the ammo loadouts are relatively historical. I just think we started shooting a little bit far out. We were at, like, battleship range. Like, 25,000 yards when we started opening up. All right, let's turn the formation in and close range with these t with these cargo ships. We'll go along the broad side of the cargo ships. The Takao will probably escape, but I'm going to go after these other guys. Battle turn! Boom! Boom! She's gonna die real fast. Alright. <laughs> Everybody, switch your fire now, please. Even the Quincy doesn't have rear ammo to fire? Oh. All right, we just took a hit from something. Could have been the cruiser. But I am kind of charging ahead and, and just directly at the enemy formation now. The enemy never got torpedoes off. I think we were just too far out. By the time we were close, they had taken too much damage. But again, I think the uh, this one enemy cruiser back here is, is still shooting at us. She's got to be relatively low on ammo. At least her forward turrets. Her, her rear magazine may still be loaded up. Well, the enemy is trying to veer, although probably just to avoid collision with this lead merchant, which has already sunk. She's trying to shoot back with her little piddly little pop guns. If we run out of ammo, we'll always use we can always use torpedoes on these guys. Now the merchants are like, nope. I really think it was just trying to avoid collision, to be honest. I still think the AI is massively problematic. But you can see shells bursting all over, a nice explosion on the bridge there. This will be the second convoy, by the way, of the Japanese that we destroy in this game. The first that'll be fully loaded, though. The or the, the first time we destroyed them, it was after they had already unloaded at Moresby. So the good news for us is that we're going to obliterate this convoy. The bad news is it means we've got to get a fully loaded uh, cruiser force out toward uh, Milne Bay to make sure we're not letting any new task forces in. Oh, she's rolling over. She's dead. She's dead. I think she's a goner. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at all this ammo. You guys! You guys! <laughs> She's dead, Jim. Alright. Next ship in line is the, the Kemogura Maru 7. Pretty sure that other ship's gonna sink. We still have some, some HE in the lead, uh, lead turrets there on the one of the other cruisers here. You know what I'm surprised we haven't seen yet? Is it any Jap... I shouldn't say this. It'll end up happening. Like, we'll be going back and we'll get hit by enemy air. But I have not seen any enemy... Uh, enemy carriers yet. Didn't I switch fire? You guys all should have switched to seven. Oh, yeah, never mind. Wait, I'm selecting... I thought I switched fire to seven. They still seem to be shooting. Nope, she's still firing at six. Cypress Gustloff. Thank you for the follow. We've got secondaries that can still shoot, I think. I'm not sure if we're in the range of the secondaries or not. Probably. 
at 9,000 yards. So the heavy cruisers still have secondaries that they can fire with. So this guy's burning, I'm assuming about to sink. So I've switched fire away from it. Seven we're hitting, we're also targeting eight with some of our other ships. I don't know why number 10 changed course. It seems like she just kind of, maybe everybody jumped overboard and said we're done. The Japanese carriers don't deploy unless Guadalcanal's taken. Well, they're all they're gonna have is destroyers for escorts then. Because by that point, they're going to be out of heavy cruisers. Maybe they'll have some Congos, I don't know. I'm surprised she hasn't, like, officially sunk yet. My lead destroyer's taken some fire from the enemy, uh, enemy cargo ships here. Give me a good solution. I don't really want to shoot the, the HE at these guys. I just want to shoot torpedoes just to say we did. Uh, the Yamato, I think, got away, Cyprus. Torpedoes in the water. Torpedoes in the water. Go get them, boys. Alright, now switch your fire back to eight. Six is burning and listing. She's going to sink. Seven is ablaze, stem to stern. All right, so which one just sank? Six. Seven and eight will sink soon. Oh, God damn it! All those HE rounds are going to make those torpedoes unneeded. Who's shooting at nine? Well, so much for needing to fire those torpedoes. Oh, it was the heavy cruiser secondary batteries. Huh, <laughs> well. Well, fire, fire management may be not my strong suit. Only one torpedo will detonate. We still have to get the rear enemy ship. Meanwhile, the enemy... God damn it, she's coming back for more. She's charging us now. I may have to send a destroyer in to try and torpedo this guy, because I don't know that I'm going to have any ammo left to finish her off. I don't have any 8-inch ammo left, I don't think. <laughs> We're basically out of all of our 8-inch ammo. Well, we've got 75 HE rounds in the rear. But she's still so far out there, I don't want to shoot. Uh, you're on fire. Slow down, sir. Moderate damage on our destroyer? Is she getting hit from that enemy cruiser? Who's shooting at her? Good thing they got the torpedoes out. It looked like the torpedo mounts were hit, but there were no torpedoes in them anymore. So she's veering. I mean, honestly, at this point, there's no reason to continue the fight as soon as we sink the last merchant ships, but there is one of them way back out here. All right, number eight is sinking. Number seven is still alive but burning. I mean, there's definitely no doubt that the enemy could be bum-rushed. Venom has no ammunition. Oh my god, we used up all of our destroyer's ammo. Huh. For 
also out of our secondary ammo, at least on that side. I could have, I guess, reversed my turn. How much ammo does Atlanta have left? Oh, of course, Atlanta still has like 700 rounds. 20,000 yards is a bit far, though. Okay. <laughs> Change my name to Out of Ammo. Well, even if they do land troops at this point, I don't think it makes a difference. I don't think the Japanese carry as many troops on their ships as the Americans, because their tonnage is about half. So I'm assuming they only carry about 600 to 800 soldiers, which at the end of the day won't really make a difference. But I am going to try and go for that number 10 out here. Just a little bit uneasy with this enemy heavy cruiser sort of charging at us. Again, they're at extreme range right now, but uh, I don't have anything to damage him other than maybe just hit him with a shit ton of five inchers with my uh, Atlanta. Still have a fire going, by the way. Actually, she's at 26,000 yards. You're not going to hit her at that range. We could send Benham in on a suicidal torpedo charge. Let's do that. Benham break formation. Oh, shit. That means all the others are going to follow him, aren't they? Yeah, never mind. Don't do that. Well, good. You didn't listen to the order anyway. How many guns are we firing on the heavy cruiser? Well, she's still too far out. At 26,000 yards, I'm not going to hit her. Do I have any Marines? Don't know. Bach, are you out of ammo too? Bach is completely out of ammo. Just star shell. No, actually, the rear turrets do have ammo. Okay. Wish I could compress time in fight. Can you put out these damn fires so I can speed you guys back up? 20 more seconds. Heavy damage for this, this ship. All right, so this is what I want. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have Bach withdraw. She's hurt pretty bad. We'll have the ships behind her make turns for 20 knots and close the distance. So the rest of the formation is now in formation behind Benham. I ordered Bach, I ordered Benham to break formation with Bach, which means that Benham can now charge forward, and the rest of the ships will follow Benham. I don't think Star Shell start fires. I mean, in theory, that's Wily Pete, right? So it could. But I don't think they do in game. J1M, thank you for the follow, by the way. Okay, so we're veering out a formation here. We'll level you out 10 knots, withdrawing. Benham, you've got no ammo left, I don't think. So we're just going to charge you in here. You've got torpedoes. Maybe we'll lose a salvo of torpedoes at Takao. What could cause damage on the initial release? Newhauser, what am I missing? Oh, star shells. Is Atlanta firing, by the way? Yeah. Look at that, 1,800 rounds. She just has unlimited ammo. The Atlanta's the one ship that it's like, don't worry, guys, I got it.
Comfit, what what are you holding your head for? We're charging. Forwards! For God's sake! We're only moving at 20. Meanwhile, the enemy cargo ship is taking some damage here. No way. Market Garden would kill way more soldiers than this, even if we lost our whole fleet. Plus, we already killed like 6,000 Japanese soldiers on all these, I'm assuming anyway, on all these cargo ships. The gunners had too much scotch. Maybe. Maybe J Street. You guys are shooting long. So Benham is... Benham looks like a different class of ship here. They've got different amounts of funnels. Five turrets versus four turrets and a single funnel. Atlanta, meanwhile, has suffered no damage. Knock on wood. Oh, our Kingfishers left the engagement area. Well, they're probably low on fuel. Although you'd think they'd they'd be like, "Where are we supposed to land, guys? We need your. We don't want to land under shell fire, but the cruisers need to pick us up." No, we need to sink the last enemy Maru. Do any of these like secondary machine gun, anti-aircraft guns shoot at ships? Oh yeah, you've got the music. It's like we know you're charging. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we're at 14,000 yards. I Also, you got to wonder what the Japanese sailors on this Maru are thinking. They're just like, forwards and unto death with the rest of our comrades. We sat it out in the rear, but now we're charging. The man from Texas 80, thank you very much for the follow. You got a hit there. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Well, the destroyer escorts weren't really involved in the Guadalcanal campaign, were they? I mean, I think the thing to keep in mind is really the ship list that we have to choose from in this is very clearly driven by the fact that it's the Guadalcanal campaign. And so there are some ships that are not in it. You know, you don't have the Iowas. Those are a little bit later. You don't have, you know, some of the other, some of the other ships that just weren't deployed in the campaign, I don't think. <laughs> the man from Texas, you're gonna pull the plug. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you're from Texas, maybe that's a different phrase down there. But I don't think that's usually the the term for buying something. <laughs> usually, it means you want to kill it. Takiya is still closing. No, she's turning away. Probably to get all her. Oh, I think she, I think her Ford turrets are out of ammo. So she's probably just using her rear turrets now at this point. Because they're not even lining up. That's what the other. That's what our turrets do. When our turrets are out of ammo, they don't. They don't aim. All right, she's on fire. This would be real interesting if it ends up becoming a battle of secondaries. Because the, um, these guys over here, they, they have secondary guns. They're all out on that side. I could swing around to get my five inchers on the other, the other side of the ship involved. We've still got a couple of rounds here. One last salvo here before the magazine is completely extinguished. What do you mean you don't have ammo of that type? You got it right there. Oh, maybe you can't bring it to bear? These guys have 51 rounds left. I gotta imagine the Takao is out of ammo. Is that true though in the game, Bulldozer? Do you know? Do magazine explosions change based on uh, ammunition? Like, because I could totally see a game like this just being like, oh, the magazine hit, boom. But you're right, there, there's nothing there to blow up anymore. Maybe there's some spare cordage if it's like a battleship where you have separate cases for the the shell versus the 
the gunpowder. Did heavy cruisers have that? They didn't have like a single casing um, projectile for a heavy cruiser, did they? They still had to throw in the powder bags behind it. <laughs> Newhauser, you might know that. You've been playing War in the Pacific a lot, the man from Texas? Yeah, it's a good game. I, by the way, guys, I don't know if LT is still around, but tomorrow's... I, I'm planning on streaming tomorrow as well around the same time, but I will probably start with an hour of War in the Pacific before moving over to War on the Sea. Either, either tomorrow or Thursday. Everything over 6 inch was multi-part loads? I think you're right. I want to say 6 inches. Maybe it was 5. Newhauser, I'm not sure. But I could totally see the logic of it being the six because all the light cruisers were six inchers, weren't they? Except for the Atlantis. Six inches and up were bag guns light. Okay, so if that's if that's true, then it looks like you're right, Newhauser. Is it just for loading reasons that they do it that way? You couldn't manhandle around something that big and heavy. Oh, range? So you have the ability to customize the the, the amount of gunpowder, therefore driving how much range you get. Okay, that makes sense. When you're firing at real long ranges or short ranges, you may want to use different amounts of powder. That makes complete sense. My uh, at my grandparents' uh, lake house growing up, they had a, they didn't have obviously the gunpowder part, but they had an old World War II, five inch five inch shell, just the the slug part. That I, he must have somehow took with him when he left the navy, but it, it didn't have a casing, so I suppose it could have been some kind of souvenir too, but. because otherwise I imagine I probably would have had some gunpowder in it, right? Or not gunpowder, explosive. Unless it was some kind of training round, which I suppose is possible. Well, I think she's dead, Jim. Kaboom! Down, down, down with the burning flames of fire. I know, that's not how you say it, but... Um, okay. Hopefully they all jumped out of the ship earlier. That's why they took their, uh, took their time out that other way. We speak not of that movie. All right. Just keep hitting them, boys. Just keep drilling them with shells. It's probably by now. Oh, by the way, we're like going yard arm to yard arm. Lol. <laughs> we're, uh, how close are we now? 4,000 yards? Just sail right by. Render honors to the fallen foe. By the way, how many... Let's do this. Because you don't have anything to... So start figuring out your solution on this enemy cruiser, which has no ammo in the forward tubes, or in the forward turrets, but still has ammo in the rear tubes, turrets. Actually, do they have secondary ammo on that side? Let's pass the other direction. You're taking damage. Why are you taking damage? Those gunners on that enemy ship are not still at their posts. Just saying. Bring it up to 25 knots, sir. All right, let's turn the line facing this direction so that way we can get our 5-inch secondaries into the act.
Why are those Ford turrets not firing? Oh, they're out of ammo in the Ford magazine. It's just the rear magazine that sells a shit ton of ammo left. Well, we're taking damage to no purpose then. We got a fire on one of the torpedo mounts, which is great. Ugh. Is it the wrong side? Oh, it is the wrong side. You're absolutely right. What am I doing? Heavy damage? Uh oh, they're gonna fire their torpedoes off the wrong side of the boat? Alright, hold your fire. I don't know that we can we can hit the uh, enemy vessel from the side. If their merchant ship sinks my destroyer, that's gonna suck. Alright, rudder midships. Can you fire out that way? Maybe not. I'm assuming they may they may turn. What are we at? Four thousand? No. 15,000 yards? That's probably extreme range for torpedoes. Torpedoes in the water! Alright, you're gonna break formation with, with Benham. Benham's gonna withdraw just like the other destroyer did. And then we'll use our uh, secondaries on these cruisers. You can see the other side of the ship still has ammo, so they're coming into action now. Venom's going to try and get out of here. Heavy damage, moderate flooding. All right. Level out. Increase your speed, by the way. 20 knots. I don't want to fan the flames, but I do want to try and get Benham out of there, so. Meanwhile, secondaries are coming into action here. We've still got 51 rounds of HE. We could potentially plaster the, the Takao. Meanwhile, that last enemy merchant ship's getting hit here. Uh, hey, Nano. That's cool. I know nothing about the M777. Go home, little old ben Benham. You did your duty. Whoa! Don't collide. Didn't I tell you to straighten out? Straighten out and fly, right? Seriously, what are they shooting at? Like, you guys are dead. Just abandoned shit, damn it. King of Warfare, thank you for the follow. All right, so we killed it. We killed it. There we go. All right. What is this guy doing? Are you trying to avoid collision? Is that what you think you're doing? Because you're literally just going to drive directly at the rest of my ships. And I don't want you to do that. Get the hell out of there. Just sail straight. If you sail straight, you guys will avoid each other. It'll be close, but you won't hit them. There you go. You're safe. Go home, little Benham. Go home. All right. Can we engage 13,000 yards on the enemy cruiser? Honestly, at this point, I'd rather just get out of there. It will let me quit. So I wonder if you get an immediate quit when the enemy doesn't want to fight anymore. But I don't really want to take the damage I'd have to take to close the range. So we'll, we'll quit. All right, so you can see here, no damage to the Takao. That's bullshit. We saw her on fire. So this is obviously wrong. There's no way they repaired all that. In any event, we sank the Akuzuki for 2,700 tons, the Minikaze for 1,500 tons in an explosive fireball. 
Um, we also sank the Miyoko heavy cruiser for 13,000 tons. And then one, two, three, four, five, six enemy merchant ships, 6,400 tons each. A total of 55,000 enemy vessels lost, or 55,000 tons of enemy vessels for nine total ships out of a 10 t ship task force. The Vincennes suffered minor damage. The Benham suffered heavy damage with minor flooding. And the Bach suffered minor damage. So a very successful engagement there. We did burn every last round of 8-inch ammo and all of our 5-inch ammo on our two destroyers. All of our forward 5-inch ammo on the Atlanta. So we, we expended an absolute metric ton of, uh, of well, more, probably more than, uh, of, of ammunition. Uh, but we did gain 51 command points, uh, and so a pretty successful battle at the end of the day. The Japanese have no more troops uh, in this task force that they can send. The heavy cruisers can't carry troops, just the light cruisers. So uh, Milne Bay is safe for now. With that being said, I am going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, please leave your thoughts down below. We obliterated and brought Armageddon down on an enemy task force uh, with just a single enemy ship escaping. Uh, but until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I appreciate the support. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying I'm out.